Namaste, my name's Lucy. Welcome to your yoga class. I've got a very short video for you today uh, focusing on the feet and ankles. So before we begin, you'll need a yoga mat or just something comfortable to sit on. We're not really gonna be doing any, any sort of dynamic stretching or moving. So just make sure that you've got a comfortable area in which to sit um, and a strap. So if you don't have a yoga strap to hand, then grab something like a dressing gown cord or maybe a tie, just something that's soft. We're just going to use it to wrap around the ankles in one of our, our sequences today. So when you've got everything ready, we'll begin. So let's just begin standing in mountain pose. Tadasana is the Sanskrit name for this. So we're just going to stand with the feet hip width apart. So that's roughly two fists distance apart. So standing up nice and tall, just draw the tummy into the spine, lift your shoulders as you breathe in and relax them down the back of the body as you relax and breathe out. Tuck your chin ever so slightly just to lengthen through the back of the neck and turn your palms to face the front just so that you're gently opening across the chest. So from here, I'd like you to just lift all 10 toes up off your mat and then slowly, one by one if you can, just start to place the toes back down. Good. So lift them all again, lift all 10 toes up and as you do that, this time I just want to bring your attention to the uh, mound of the big toe. So really feel pressure there, pressing into the floor. That's the first corner of your foot. And then take your awareness to the outside of the foot and try and get some pressure there just underneath the little toe. And then bring your awareness to the heels and just try and press evenly through the heels. So you've still got your toes lifted, and then slowly, one by one, just release the toes down onto the mat. Now when you do that, I want you to notice what you feel in the inner arches of your feet. So a lot of times in yoga classes, you'll hear the teacher say, lift through the inner arches. But really, if you're not aware of what your feet are doing, then that's not going to mean a lot to you. So it's that sensation of lifting the toes, spreading the weight evenly through both feet and then replacing the toes down, you should feel a little activation through the inner arches of the feet. So I just want you to focus on trying to spread the weight evenly across the feet and using the whole surface area of the feet. So all four corners of the feet. So we'll begin today with tree pose. So it's a standing balance. We're just going to be standing on one leg briefly. Um, so standing balances are really great for promoting um, stability in the ankle. It also gives you a nice awareness of what's going on in that foot. So we're gonna begin by shifting the weight very gently into the left leg. So just start to shift your weight into the left side and then slowly start to peel the right foot up off the mat. We're gonna then turn the right knee out to the side and bring the right toes just to the inside of the ankle here. So you can keep your toes planted on the floor if you feel a little bit wobbly. And equally, if you feel wobbly, you can go and grab a chair or just use a wall to lean against. So just to place one hand on the wall just to stabilize yourself. Otherwise, what I want you to do is start to draw your navel in. So you're firming through your core, which is really important when you're working on standing balances. So we've got the toes still on the floor, the right toes still on the floor. We're pressing down through the left foot. We're nice and strong in the core. And then from here, see if you can start to lift your right toes up off the mat and just bring them onto the inside of the ankle very gently. So now just start to find something to look at, something to gaze at, a nice point that you can look at that's gonna keep you nice and steady. And we're going to stay here for five breaths. So with your right foot, you might start to feel your left ankle bone wobbling a little bit. And again, just think about firming through your core to keep you nice and steady here. 
So we're promoting that agility in the ankle joint, but also we're working on our balance, which is a great thing for all aspects of life, not just our yoga. So take two more nice deep breaths in and out through your nose here. And then slowly start to release and stand back down on two legs. You can give your legs a little shake out. And then we're going to come to tree pose on the other side. So start to shift your weight into that right foot and take your time. So find that gaze point strong in your tummy and then start to peel the left toes, the left foot, sorry, up off the mat. And then turning that left knee out to the side, bringing the toes still on the mat to the inside of the ankle. So when you feel steady, start to lift the toes and just gently place them on the ankle. So no pressure really here, just nice and light, just starting to focus on what it feels like on this side compared to the other side. Nice and strong in the core and start to breathe in and out through your nose. So this is a great posture to do. You can do it while you're cooking dinner, standing at the stove, maybe waiting for the kettle to boil. Um, it's a really good idea to practice standing balances often because they're very beneficial in lots of ways. So two more nice deep breaths here, pressing down evenly through all four corners of that standing foot and then start to release and come back to standing on two legs. Well done, so that's tree pose and that's a really good way, as I said before, just to build uh, stability in the ankle. We're gonna come down onto our knees now for our second pose this morning or this evening, whatever time of day you might be practicing. And this is where you're going to need your strap. So we're simply using the strap to avoid the feet rolling in on each other. And also just to maximize that stretch across the ankle joints. So come down to sitting and just take your strap and you're just going to wrap it around the ankles. So nice and taut like you would a bandage, doesn't have to be really tight, but what we want to do here is to stop the feet rolling in. So your ankle bones kind of need to be touching. So when you've wrapped your strap around the ankles, and like I say, you don't need a fancy yoga strap or anything, just grab something that's uh, soft, um, a dressing gown cord or a tie, that will do the job. You're just going to come up onto your knees and then I want you to tuck your toes under so that the balls of the feet are on the floor or on the mat and then just start to sit your sit bones back on your heels. So our ankle bones are touching, the insides of the big toes are touching and we're now just starting to really stretch through the toes. The strap is forcing the feet to stay together rather than rolling in or rolling away. So sitting here, five deep breaths. So in and out through your nose five times. And you might find this is a really nice sensation on the toes, or you might find actually that it's quite intense. If you feel like it is too intense, then just go ahead and place your hands down on the floor in front of you, and this will sort of um, help distribute some of the weight. But I want you to think about just stretching through the toes and really keeping the ankle bones together. After you've done your five breaths here, I want you to stay exactly where you are, but this time start to almost push the mat away from you with your toes. So again, if it's too much pressure, place your hands on the floor in front of you. Otherwise, think about really pushing back with the toes and another five deep breaths here. So when you've done your five breaths, we're going to keep the strap around the ankles and this time we're just going to place the tops of the feet down onto the mat. So if your strap 
or your cord has come loose, then just go ahead and tighten it up a little bit. And this time we're going to point the toes as we sit the sit bones down onto the heels and really start to open across the tops of the feet. And again, if it feels a bit too much, then send the hands forward just to redistribute some of the weight. But otherwise, sit up nice and tall and take five deep breaths here, in and out through the nose. So you're pointing through the toes and you're really pressing the tops of the feet into the floor or into the mat. So it should feel like a really nice opening across the tops of the feet. But by having the straps around the ankles, we're really maximizing that stretch and making sure that we're not rolling in or away. So go ahead and take one more nice deep breath here. And then we can release. Just send the heels out to one side and you can unwrap your strap now and pop it to one side. So the next pose we're going to do is, um, well, I don't know that it has an actual name, but it's a bit like a namaste and a reverse namaste for the feet. So traditionally, this is what we would say is a namaste. So with our feet, we're going to try and make the same sort of shape. So we're going to start by sitting in staff pose, Dandasana is the Sanskrit name. So that's sitting up nice and tall with the legs out long. Sit up tall, draw the tummy in and just make sure your shoulders are relaxed. So if you feel a bit tense, if you feel like you're tensing, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and open your mouth and sigh the breath away and just allow the shoulders to relax. I want you to flex your feet here and make sure that your ankle bones are pressing together. What we're going to do now is draw the soles of the feet together. So this movement is strengthening the side to side motion. So with your soles together, you're then going to go the other way and try and send the soles of the feet out. So we're opening the soles of the feet out and then we're bringing them together. We're gonna to open them out and bring them together. And when your feet come back together, try and keep the ankle bones touching as you open the soles of the feet out and then really bringing the soles of the feet together. So it might, again, it might feel a little intense at first. So just keep working through these. I'd like you to do a minimum of 10. And if you think you can manage it, go up to 20. So this is a lovely way to really increase that side to side motion and just to build that strength and stability in the ankles. It does also feel like a lovely opening across the tops of the feet and it's just a really nice stretch. So when you've done your 10 or your 20, just go ahead and hug your legs in, give your feet a little bit of a shake just to shake it off. And then we're ready to move on to our final set of exercises for this sequence. So for that one, we're going to be standing up once more. So this time I want you to bring your feet together. And again, if you feel a bit wobbly, feel free to have a chair next to you or place one hand on the wall just to stabilize yourself. So this time we're going to stand up on our tiptoes. We're going to roll up onto our tiptoes and then we're slowly going to roll down. So we're going to lift up and come back down. And I want you to take this movement really slowly. So slowly coming up onto our tiptoes, trying to keep everything as close together as we can and then slowly lowering down. And just remember that the coming down part is just as important as the going up. So take both aspects really slowly. So what this is doing is strengthening the, the lower legs and into the Achilles tendon, which is all very, very important for nice, strong feet and ankles. So these are just simple calf raises coming up onto the ball of the feet 
and then lowering slowly back down. So it's a good idea to look to do 20 of these at a time. And again, it's going to be important here to try and suck the tummy in just to firm across the core. And again, just remember to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Keep your breath long and smooth and just begin to raise up and come down. And again, this is another one that I like to do when I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil or cooking the boys tea, whatever it might be. But just any time you can, bringing this awareness to the feet and looking for opportunities to take time to just strengthen. So our feet do so much for us. They carry our weight day in, day out. They take us places. And it's just really nice to show them some love really by just taking time for these exercises. It doesn't need to take a huge part of your day, but you'll find that over time with consistent practice, you'll start to develop more of awareness of what's going on in your feet. And it's through that awareness that we can strengthen and stabilize when we know what's going on. Especially if you wear shoes, especially high heels, when you take your shoes off, take time to just stretch and open the feet. And try and stay barefoot where possible at home as well. It's a, gr it's a great way to focus on building strength through the foot and into the ankle. So thank you for taking the time to practice with me today. Do get in touch if you've got any questions or queries. And I hope you enjoy taking the time to show your feet and your ankles some love. Namaste.